the experience with Cabate uh, Americas is, has been amazing. Um, I can't even remember the last time I've been treated the way that I've been treated here. Um, which, is the, which is one of the main reasons why after that first fight I was like, let's sign, let's sign, you know. Um, I was waiting around trying to f figure out like, you know, especially now since I've, I've been fighting for such a long time, um, what's more important to me is, is, how, is how I'm going to get treated. You know, I, I've been doing this for a very long time um, and I just felt like I, I needed to be treated properly um, and, and that's, that's what I'm getting here. The interaction with people that, that say that, that I inspire them and, and, um, and that have been following me for a while is, is pretty amazing. I, I don't like, I don't believe it. it, it doesn't feel real, but when, when they tell me a story or when they um, tell me how long they've been following me or um, just so that they've been a fan for a while, it, it's, it just feels not real to me. You know, I, even though I've been doing this for a long time and, and I've been through an awful lot, um, to, to be able to get feedback like that is just, it, it's amazing, you know? And, and I love people like that, and I love and I love to hear their stories, and I love to, um, a lot of the time I've become friends with people like that. Um, it's, there's a connection there, you know? And, and um, they, they, they're doing what I'm doing, or um, they're trying to do what I have done. And um, it's just, it's a great feeling, you know? I, I love it. The, the Warrior Princess came from when I first started a long time ago. Um, Jasper Tayaba, my, my first uh, Muay Thai coach. He, he's Filipino, so he had, he had trouble saying my name. And so every time that he was saying Zoila, he was like, ah, oh, just Z, whatever, just Z. And then, and then one day he just came in and he was like, you know what? Zena, the Warrior Princess, because you're a warrior, but you act like a princess all the time too. And so I was like, let's not, let's not do that. Please, let's not. And then he just ran with it. He just kept using it. And I was like, okay, I guess it's, it's stuck. But, um, but I mean, it fits me. It does fit me well, because when I go in there, I fight, you know, and, and, I, and I'm a warrior to the end. Um, but on the outside, you know, I, I, I'm still a woman, you know? <laughs> I still like to do womanly things. So I can be a princess too. Um, but I mean, I'm a little older now, so it should be a queen, but, but still, I'll, I'll, I'll keep it. Uh, the biggest obstacles I would say are just being a woman in a dominant, a male dominant sport. Um, fighting is, is known to be just a man, a man sport. But you know, a lot of a lot of us women, like like me, I, I, I've been growing up fighting my entire life. Not just fighting, um, not fighting on the street, but fighting in life, fighting for for equal pay, pay fighting for um, to be seen um, for my skill set and not the way I look. Um, and in sports, you know, I've, I've been an athlete all my life, and you know, I, and I believe I work just as hard as as the men, if not harder. So, I've been fighting for for a lot as a woman in this sport.